Hi, I'm Michaela Drummond and I'm here racing in Barcelona. I'm really enjoying the racing so far. I was a little bit disappointed after yesterday's cancellation due to rain, but today's a really nice day and we're coming into the points race soon. Um, hopefully going to be a fast race and really looking forward to it. <laughs> What's it? What is your objective for today? Um, I just want to go out there and do my best. Um, I'm going to try take a lap. Hopefully, I'm um, around 10 points down from first place. I'm sitting in third, so a fast, hard race would be good for me and my um, teammate Sylvia. We're both third and fourth at the moment, so let's see what happens and we'll give it everything. What is your current state of form? Um, I'm in pretty good form. I'm off to Road World next week, um, so I've been mainly focused on the road. This is my first track event in a very long time, um, but I'm enjoying it and I think the form is really good and yeah, it's coming along. What do you think about today's racing program? It's very um, tight, very tight together racing, but I think it suits a rider like me who's um, been on the road a lot so I can recover faster do a race, quick recovery, get back out there. So the program's been great, it's running smoothly, and yeah, it's good. What do you expect from the rivals? What I, the rivals? Um, hopefully a hard race. I'm not too sure what their plan is, but um, I'm sure they'll be wanting to keep their position as the first and second from the same team. So yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a hard one. <laughs> Uh, you're coming from participating in 35th challenge. Uh, How did it go? Sorry, what was that? In Galicia, in Spain. Ah, in the... Spain. <laughs> the Volta. See. Si. Yes. Oh, yes. That was um, very challenging. There were, it was a climbers race, so we had a couple of 11 kilometer climbs, which doesn't really suit me, but I managed to get over them pretty well and um, did a top 15. So that was really cool on the hilly course. Yeah, it was good fun. How have been this season for you? Um, it's been a little bit different. I've spent uh, the last three years training for the Olympics and um, just missed out. Um, it became a reserve, so this is my first year on the road. Been really enjoying it, done some of the biggest women's world tour races on the calendar, um, which has been a real good experience for me. I've improved so much in my fitness, so yeah, it's been, it's been a good year. What will your next races be? Um, next race would be um, Road Worlds in the weekend, uh, the women's road race. Um, and then after that, I'm really hoping to get a spot at the Track World Championships, but um, we're still waiting on confirmation if we have a confirmed spot for the championships. You will participate in the Road Cycling World Championship representing New Zealand. What does this fact mean to you? It's always an honor to represent my country. I haven't um, been home for a very long time due to MIQ, so to pull on the fern again, it's going to be a massive pride and I hope I can um, do them well. You have won two bronze medals in Team Pursuit at the at Track Cycling World Championship, last one in 2019. Do you think you will be able to repeat this year and achieve a new one? Um, unfortunately, um, we will not be lining up a team pursuit at the World Championships due to the COVID situation. So I don't think there will be another team pursuit bronze coming our way this World Championships. But hopefully we can um, get amongst the bunch racing this year with um, Ellie Wollaston, another like a rider coming through. So hopefully the Madison we can improve on. It's definitely been something that uh, in the background I've been working hard towards after some disappointing races in previous years. So. Yeah, I think this year we're focused on the bunch races and hopefully we can medal in, in those this coming championships. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs>